this so, week. Exactly. Welcome back to Horizons, the sequel to Little Witch Academia. The super popular short anime from 2013 is finally complete. It will be shown to American audiences at Anime Expo in Los Angeles, July 3rd. So very soon, soon now, actually. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's, uh, About that's a month away. around the corner. Yeah. Uh, according to the teaser, we'll see more characters plus the familiar ones from the original film. If you back the Kickstarter, your physical rewards should ship in August. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so uh, they are finally completing all the stuff from the Kickstarter from, I believe it was last year. Um, Anime Expo's schedule has also revealed that Yoshiaki Kawajiri, creator of the classics Ninja Scroll, Wicked City, and Vampire Hunter D. Bloodlust, will be previewing a new work at Anime Expo this year. What will it be? We don't know. You'll have to attend Anime Expo to find out. Mm -hmm. That's pretty exciting. I mean, um, that's he's done a lot of classic work and uh, not a lot since then. So, hmm. looking forward to seeing what he uh, what he does next. Well, Ghost in the Shell Arise, the recent four episode OVA, is getting a live action uh, play adaption. Uh, it will be written by the author of Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex's script, and supervised by Arise's director. It will, <clears throat> excuse me, it will run in Tokyo this November, and it seems you just can't stop Ghost in the Shell. It sure does. I mean, yeah. my gosh, a stage play. Quite a franchise. It sure is. It just keeps on going. And what will be next? And I, I can't imagine. Oculus, Oculus. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please. I was so sad. Just, part, you know, note in the editorial. Um, um, they announced a Ghost in the Shell first-person shooter game or third-person shooter game Ooh. um and it's just a shooter game you run around shooting people like the, they the, didn't the, brand it more uh, with no not that i can tell it's basically tell me they're squad shooter. <laughs> yeah, you know, i think there are but it was like a squad based shooter and i was like there's so much more to that you franchise. can take it and run with it exactly yeah. so, so sad but you know, encourage them encourage yeah, them. exactly um and i mean granted that would be it would I get it. It's hard to make something that, that you know does all that stuff. And, oh, Fan well. base. Hey, there we are. <laughs> Crowdsource. <laughs> um, Adult Swim has announced two new series for its lineup on Cartoon Network. Akagame Ga Kill is a violent fantasy series about, well, assassins and swords and blood and stuff. Um, it's the first anime series from Sentai Filmworks to air on Cartoon Network. So this might indicate more from that their library of anime. Excuse mm. me. Um, Adult Swim will also air Michiko and Hachin. Uh, a.k.a. Michiko Tohachin, a hyper series about a sexy outlaw on the run who takes an abused kid along with her. Look for that on Adult Swim June 20th, while Akagame Ga Kill will premiere August 8th. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Good to see new stuff. Studio Ghibli. Ghibli, 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 Ghibli. Ghibli. <laughs> Ghibli. Uh, when Marami... Marnie. Marnie. Uh, I gotta check my prescription. <laughs> <laughs> ...was there, has made... $84,000 in the United States so far. Uh, its take is growing after only 27000 in its opening weekend. However, this is probably because it's adding uh, theaters every week. Mm. So uh, check your local listings and see if it's showing near you. And attend if you can. Show support. And, exactly. And, uh, you know, it, the, more we, <laughs> the more support we show for anime, uh, the more uh, they listen to us when we make requests. That is so true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so again, that's when Marnie was there. For those who are, are you know, um, always want us to repeat everything. Three we can times. decipher what I said. Well, no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> um, it's just um, it, it's funny because we, we, we've uh, done this, and folks have said uh, you say it at the beginning, but then by the end, we forget the name of the thing you said at the beginning. So, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah fair uh, enough. Now, if anybody wants to caption this for us, <laughs> hey, yes, <laughs> we can reach a wider audience. Us. Exactly. <laughs> um, and then some surprising news: a licensing magazine revealed in its summer issue. The Tatsunoko Productions is working on a new Speed Racer Whoa. anime series. Speed yeah. Racer. And it'll be made with modern audiences in mind. Mm. Uh, this is after a contentious legal battle between Tatsunoko and an American licensing company called Speed Racer Enterprises. It was finally resolved last year. Tatsunoko now owns all rights to Speed Racer. Now that is cool. Yeah, I'll be very curious to see where, where that goes. Um, I mean, Speed Racer is a very classic series mm. in many ways yeah you know, like, a lot of people love it but it's also very much a product of its time hmm. so i'd love to see how it gets up uh, it's updated oh. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> um did you ever see the dexter's laboratory parody of speed racer oh, no. oh it's wonderful oh. it's wonderful um it just, <laughs> that, it's, that's it's, what I've see. it's, it's a lot of fun <laughs> 
Um, moving on to some upcoming conventions. So uh, Colossal Don't. Con, yes. Colossal Con will be in Sandusky, Ohio this weekend, uh, June 4th through 7th. Among the guests will be Steve Bloom, the voice mm -hmm. actor, Johnny Young Bosch, the voice actor, and the Symphonic Anime Orchestra. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. That's quite a group. Uh, K-On! Akon, Akon, uh, Akon, uh, <laughs> dyslexia, uh, is going to be uh, in Dallas, Texas, uh, June fifth through seventh. So uh, that's, wait, this, that's this weekend. This weekend. Yeah, yeah. Wow! So quick, <laughs> if you're in Texas, go. Right. Uh, it's uh, the oldest continually running anime-based uh, convention in the U.S. Wow! And so they're going to be featuring guests like Caitlin Glass, Kyle Herbert. Uh, 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 Michael Tatum, J. Michael Tatum, mm -hmm. and uh, it looks like uh, ooh, production of uh, production IG. IG's yeah, president, yeah, it's gonna be that there. is huge. No kidding. So, uh, get his card for us and uh, exactly. send it to him, <laughs> <laughs> send his card to us, absolutely. Um, then a couple, couple more. Um, so Arch Anime will be in Collinsville, Illinois, in the Gateway Center. That'll be again this weekend, June 5th through 7th, and uh, uh DeuceCon. Desukan. Desukan. Yeah. Desukan. Uh, Sibelius. Wait, Finland? Yes. Finland? Yeah. Finland. Mm -hmm. We're going international. You bet. And it is sold out. It is sold out. It's yeah. this same weekend, uh, June mm -hmm. 5th through 7th. So if you're listening from Finland, uh, let us know I hope you had a ticket. <laughs> 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 if not, uh, find somebody who did and let us know. Exactly. Yeah, call in. Uh, and then uh, Ninja Con is June 6th. That's Saturday, I believe. That's at the J uh, Japanese American Cultural and Community Center in Los Angeles, California. Hello. Yeah. And then another quick reminder that uh, Anime Expo is July 7th, 2nd through 5th, coming up in Los Angeles. Excellent. Yeah. So um, let's see in here. Other um, in other news. So the Kickstarter news. Um, Animego has finally released its Kickstarter for Otaku no Video, which we've been following here on Horizons. Mm -hmm. This is the Gainax-produced mockumentary about anime fandom from the 1980s, made in the 1980s and also about fandom of the 1980s. Uh, a mere $25 US gets you the Blu-ray shipped anywhere in the world outside Japan. Are you serious? Yeah. I've got to jump in. I know. That. No kidding. Uh, the Kickstarter's already reached its funding goal of $40,000 US, so it's definitely going to happen. It was at like $60,000 when last I checked. When does that close out? Um, like three weeks from now. Oh. So, um, it, to jump on that. it reached its goal in like 14 hours. So if you dig anime <laughs> and the creation of anime, this is this is this is a good one. Exactly. Uh, what was great about Otaku no Video is that it's um, it is a fun anime, just as it just for for the story and so forth. It's fun for how much it makes fun of fans. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for a sort of peek into how the industry works. Yeah. There's so many things happening at once. It's a good slice of life. It's uh, it's enjoyable. Exactly. Enjoyable. Yeah. Writing Bean. Anime Ego also announced uh, an upcoming Kickstarter for Writing Bean, the 1989 OVA set in the same universe as Gunsmith Cats. Kickstarter is planned for this summer. Very cool. So they've done the Otaku No Video Kickstarter. They also did the um, Bubblegum Crisis Kickstarter um, oh. like last year. So mm. they're on a roll. So chances are that's going to that's happen. Um, and then there's another one. Um, uh, so a, uh, a Kickstarter appeared recently f uh, to launch a magazine called Anime Monthly. Oh. Unfortunately, okay. there's almost no information about the magazine's content itself in the Kickstarter. The founder doesn't seem to have any magazine experience and hasn't backed or done anything else on Kickstarter. The uh, idea is there. It doesn't yeah, sound like there's a lot of no. potential. Maybe. He's asked for $2,000, and he's gotten $1 so far. Wow. So it's tough. 14 days to go on that one. But uh, if you're curious, look for Anime Monthly on Kickstarter. Hmm. Um, it's, just, it's, it's hard to pledge when you don't know much yeah, about the, where it's going to go. The more information and business plan a person yeah. can develop, the, the better. Mm -hmm. And uh, having, having feedback with other people always helps yeah. as well. It, sounds, it, it looks to me like the kind of thing, and I can pull up here real quick. Um, actually, let me just have it. Yeah. Um, it's a great example of something where the guy probably has all sorts of great ideas. Um, that's the entire thing. Um, um, you know, he wants to buy computers and tablets. He wants to find people and get involved. I think if he had more people involved or if he had a more specific um, prototype for what he was doing, something along those lines. A little bit of a plan here would yeah. be more... Um... Interesting. If he if he developed it, getting money for computers only goes so far. Right. Uh, 
uh, of course, his, his, his target audience should be clearly defined. And mm-hmm. it looks like he, he's doing that. Mm-hmm. But uh, what he intends to do, is he going to have recurring uh, uh, articles this mm-hmm. month, uh, uh, editorials. Is it going to yeah. be fan base, industry base? Is it going to be both? Is it going to? Uh, is there any plan for advertising? Yeah, um, exactly. Know? Just, just something more yeah. <laughs> would be well, nice. It would um, also be nice. I mean, he he has a a, a brief bio um, where he just says he's been a photographer since 2013, an anime fan, gamer, and friendly. Hmm. And if we knew more about what his contributions would be in the magazine. Yeah. That, that would help a lot too. Yeah. Um, so, so hopefully it'll come. And you know, I I, I hope this something along these lines happens because we really Otaku USA is the only and Protoculture Addicts, I guess. But that's I guess every quarter now. Hmm. Um, but I think they're the only is, is new type magazine. New type. Um, uh, I don't. Are they are they still doing American new type? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, perhaps we could enlist them to our uh, news gathering. There we go. Uh, uh, Army. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> and totally. uh, have him. Uh, uh, fold in some of his talents under under our umbrella. Yeah, wouldn't <laughs> mind that. Yeah. All right, so so good luck on that. If that doesn't come through, maybe you know we'll see something different coming out of out of uh, Anime Monthly. Um, also, monthly is tough. Yeah, that, that, monthly that's, that's is a lot of work for one person. Yeah, uh, having a, a staff, um, you know, having a quarterly initially mm-hmm. might give a uh, or at least a proof of concept that he could. Yeah, you know, hey, here's what I intend to do. Here's a sample insert article here, even just a four page. You know, what I'd recommend he do a fanzine. A fanzine. Do like a two page fanzine for a couple of months, just to you know get it going and kind of get get it spun, spun up. Then yeah. people can see that and say, oh, here's the layout. Oh, here's here's something I can hold in my hands and say, yeah. oh yeah, there's the okay, I see potential here and mm-hmm. here. It gives them something tangible that they yeah. can say, hey, you know, this does have potential. Exactly. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Um, moving on to um, the anime releases that have come out this week, starting with the Aniplex of America has released Expelled Aniplex. from Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the, trademarked. Are, are we going to get that? Oh, yeah, air? probably. <laughs> um, so Expelled from Paradise in a Blu-ray, $50 for the standard Blu-ray and 65 for the limited edition Blu-ray. And Crunchyroll Disco Tech has five centimeters per second, and that's come out on uh, is that DVD? I believe it's DVD. I believe it. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a pretty reasonable price. Yeah, Um, I know this has been released on DVD before. So this is kind of a uh, um, re-release, you know, save edition. Um, Disco Tech Media alone has released a Lupin the Third from Siberia with Love, another one of the innumerable Lupin releases, (laughs) which is awesome. It's so neat seeing so many of that stuff out uh, now. As twenty five dollars subbed only. Oh well, Funimation released uh, Fairy Fairy Tale uh, Collection Four, mm-hmm. uh, both uh, Blu Ray DVD combo. Nice, and that's always nice because uh, sometimes you have one machine, sometimes <laughs> you have the other, <laughs> <laughs> and you're good to future proof and have the Blu Rays for later. And uh, the price on that is uh, fifty four ninety eight. Excellent. Uh, Funimation has also released uh, Nobunagun, the complete collection. The uh, Blu-ray DVD, there's the, the combo, and uh, also a limited edition. The standard combo is $65. The uh, limited edition is 70 so only 5 bucks more. Oh, yeah. Might as well go for the LE. Exactly. Uh, Funimation also has uh, Want to Be the Strongest in the World Complete Collection on Blu-ray and DVD combo. Nice. For 65 bucks, give or take a few pennies. <laughs> <laughs> And it looks like the limited edition is also five bucks more on that one too. Check that out. Cool. Uh, moving on to Sentai Filmworks, they released um, the Haiku Collection One hmm. uh, DVD is fifty bucks, Blu-ray is sixty bucks. Those are subtitled only. Uh, TRSI. The right stuff. The right stuff. International. Right mm-hmm. stuff. Nozomi. Great stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, teacher, please, teacher. The teacher. complete collection, which I think I have. One I disc of a few episodes. <laughs> the complete collection for thirty nine ninety nine. That's great. Remember back when you'd get like one volume of an anime oh, series for like twenty nine ninety nine. Three episodes. <laughs> I, I gotta have a fortune to get the whole series. <laughs> like the old T-shirt, anime drugs would be cheaper. <laughs> um, and finally, speaking of, of old school, Viz Media has released oh. set six of Ranma one half. Ranma, <laughs> Ranma, Ranma John. <laughs> 
Um, so on DVD, that's going to be 4482 which is an interesting price. And the Blu-ray um, special edition will be $55. It would be fun to get the entire collection. Well, wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, I don't know that they could say save, but you know, having, <laughs> having the whole collection all at once. Yeah. Remember, I binge watch that. <laughs> remember the the, um, the the VHS tapes, and you walk into Sam Goody, and there'd be a wall of Ron Moore. <laughs> wow! Oh my like, gosh! <laughs> so much Ron to get through. Um, so thanks to the DVD Talk Forum for the releases and other news agencies, including uh, AnimeNewsNetwork.com and mm. AnimeNewsNetwork.com, as well as AnimeNewsNetwork.com. And I think there were a few other spots, but uh, mostly Anime New mm. Anime Cons yeah, and uh, AnimeCons.com. Exactly. And, um, uh, and of course, Kickstarter. Kickstarter itself. Yeah, very good. So that is the news for the week. Thank you all for watching. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's my telegrapher. Now we've got to find that sound effect. <laughs> that cool. Around the world. Yes. And in your corner of the backyard. We'll have to find one of those where the globe is centered on Japan <laughs> as it's cycling around. <laughs>